I'm Natalia Martinkova and I'm the senior author of an article that recently appeared in the Journal of Wildlife Diseases. It investigates white nose syndrome and its histopathology in bats in Europe. You are now watching a video abstract of the article, but you can find the original peer-reviewed text through links on this video and in the information panel below. Our team included veterinary pathologists, bat biologists and molecular geneticists. We studied the changes that occur in European bats infected with a microscopic cold-loving fungus Geomyces destructans. In North American bats, this fungus causes a severe disease called white nose syndrome. Millions of hibernating bats already succumb to the diseases there. Uh, white nose syndrome first appeared in New York State in 2006 in a single cave. From there it started to spread along the Appalachian Mountains and beyond. Every year more underground shelters for hibernating bats are discovered that are affected by the disease. Six bat species die off very often when they get infected and at least one species, the little brown bat, may be locally extinct in about 15 years. In Europe, the fungus that causes white nose syndrome was discovered in 2008 in Germany. But to date, we know of no massive die-offs in this continent. The trend of the long-term population survey data of the greater mouse eared bat in the Czech Republic and Slovakia shows stable fluctuation of growing population even after detection of Gomitsa's destructans. But we did find several dead bats in 2010 in caves where we confirmed geomycosis earlier. Geomycosis is the term used for an infection by geomycosis destructants. Keeping in mind that mass mortality was not observed in Europe, we needed to find out if the pathological changes that occur in bats with white nose syndrome in North America are present also in bats in Europe. Uh, our task in the research into white nose syndrome in the Czech Republic was to perform autopsy of bats that, are, that were found dead or that were suspicious of being infected by Geomyces destructans. In 2010 we examined six bats found dead in the Beachy Scala cave. Two of them were found positive for Geomyces destructans uh, and histopathology revealed skin colonization by fungi. Later in 2011 we found another positive bed showing typical cupping erosions characteristic of white nose syndrome. The recent discovery by Dr. Pecula and his collaborators in the Czech Republic has now documented the disease associated with Geomyces cystructans cause white nose syndrome in Europe. I'm going to show you what white nose syndrome looks like in a bat wing from a cave in the United States. This is typically what was seen in European bats, superficial colonization, which is not white nose syndrome. Even in the same bat, there were these areas of deep erosion and ulceration. This is how we define white nose syndrome in bats with uh, Dr. Pecula's findings with his collaborators. They saw something very similar to this in European bats, finally diagnosing white nose syndrome in Europe. We demonstrated that the skin infected with geomyces destructans show the same pathological features on both continents and that we have white nose syndrome in Europe. At present, it's not known why bats in North America die in masses while in Europe they survive the infection. Population monitoring together with research from many disciplines is currently underway here in the Czech Republic. This will further our knowledge of white nose syndrome in our bat populations. The original article by Yuri Pikula and colleagues was published in January 2012 in Journal of Wildlife Diseases, where you can find additional information. Thank you for watching our video abstract.